day after Christmas. It's December the 26th. And some of y'all know what that means. It means that we were all looking out for a Barnes Noble sale because in the past, they have done 50% off hardcovers on this specific day. The economy being what it is, uh, I think some of us were worried about whether or not they would still be doing the sale. They are doing a sale. It's not 50% off, it's 33% off, but you know what? I will take it because girl math and book math still say I'm saving money. Also, I'm a math teacher, and if you were planning to buy books today, then you're still saving money. Now, if you are just using this as an excuse to go buy books and say you're saving money when otherwise you would not have gone, you are not saving money. That is not girl math. That is not book math. I'm only saying this because I'm a math teacher and I love you. Okay. Okay. But I do have a couple books that I did not put on Christmas wish lists for other people. So I don't think that I'm going to be getting them that I'm going to go out today. And one of those is a very, very highly anticipated release that I'm sure some of you can guess. We're going to go do that, but the first thing we need to do before we can do that is get coffee. Have I already had coffee today? Yes, but you know, when you're taking yourself shopping, it, you can treat yourself. And if y'all don't remember, there's a 7 Brew around the corner from me and their coffee, it's cheap. So we're going to go get a drink at 7 Brew, go on our 45-minute drive to Barnes & Noble, browse, peruse take a couple books off the shelf, pay for them, come home, and then I have a chiropractor appointment today. My first one ever. So we'll talk more about that later. Let's go book shopping. I'm at Barnes & Noble. Um, and on days like this, I always feel bad for my local indie stores. So I'm not going there today, obviously, but I decided that since I'm participating in this sale today, that I would go ahead and place some pre-orders with my local indie, which is called Lemuria. If you are ever in the Jackson, Mississippi metro area, I highly suggest checking it out. It is one of the coolest bookstores ever. I went ahead and called in my pre-order to Crescent City House of Flame and Shadow to Lemuria, so that even though I, they're not getting my money today, I can guarantee that I will be spending money there soon. So you know, balance it out. Show some love. Your local indies need you, but we are about to go into Barnes and Noble. Take my hands now. Take him like they're yours. Show me what you imagine. Draw it on the wall Demons and witches Just let them fall So I'm let going to pause for a moment because I'm going to drop off all of my books. But one of the books I got is not for me. This one is for my friend and co-worker, Kayla, who knew I was going to Barnes & Noble this morning and asked if I could pick it up for her. And so I did. So after I go to the chiropractor, I'm going to run this by her house because she's down that way. And then uh, when I get back, I'll show you all the books I got for me. Okay, my friends, I'm back from the chiropractor. And first of all, let me tell you what a difference. What a difference. I learned today that my right leg is significantly longer than my left leg and my whole life I have struggled with pain on the left side of my body starting at my hip and going all the way up to my shoulder always on the left and he pulled and popped and whatever that sucker and I feel like a different person and so I think I will be returning to said chiropractor because I want to run again and I have not been able to run for significant amounts of time without my hip hurting. And so maybe this is the answer. I'm praying this is the answer because I would love to do another half marathon and uh, get back into running shape. But that's a, that's a discussion for a different video. I have a goals video coming out soon, so we'll get there later. Y'all wanna see what I got at Barnes & Noble today. All right, I knew I wanted a cookbook. So the first thing I got was just the first cookbook that caught my eye. I have made recipes from this blog before, so I was excited to see this. And this is Skinny Taste Simple by Gina Homolka, I think is the author's name. I didn't realize it, but I did get a signed cookbook, so that's pretty cool. This cookbook is pretty cool because each recipe has seven or less ingredients and they're relatively healthy, which again, stay tuned for a goals video coming later. But 
The photography in here is beautiful, which is something I greatly appreciate about cookbooks. And the recipes are just easy to make. I'm excited to have some more options for home cooked meals that are delicious, that are pleasing to the eye, and that are pretty easy to make. Secondly, this year was the year I read my first Stephen King novel, and then I also saw that my friend Hannah from the Teacher's TBR read this and it made her top books of the year, so I decided to pick it up, and that is Holly by Stephen King. I didn't realize that this house is kind of metallic. I don't know if we're catching that, y'all. I don't... Maybe it's just the glare, but it kind of looks like the person in the window is disappearing and coming back. I think it's just the glare, but that's kind of a cool little uh, bonus here. Wow, that's kind of creepy. I've definitely been more on like my horror game this year and I want to read more and Stephen King is an excellent place to start. I also didn't realize this book is fairly long. It's like a, it's like a thick one. I also picked up Powerless by Lauren Roberts. So I made a bunch of different Christmas lists this year to give to people for books that I wanted. And I was very specifically not putting this book on the list because I wanted to keep some that I didn't have on the list in case I got Christmas money or there was a sale so that I could go buy them. But fun fact, I haven't done any of my like Christmases with people yet. Yesterday was the 25th, but my dad was doing Christmas with my stepmom's family and then my brother and sister-in-law were doing Christmas with the in-laws. And then my best friend that I do Christmas with most years was sick. So yesterday I had a day to myself and we're doing all of our Christmas celebrations later. So I haven't gotten any Christmas presents yet. And I didn't want to risk getting myself something that I knew somebody else might have gotten me. And I purposefully did not put this one on a list. I've heard so many good things about this. I think it's a YA romanticy. It's got purple and green and black and silver on the cover. I haven't read a YA in a long time and the book just feels so small and squat, but I'm excited. I just, I want some good adventure, fun, romantic times and here we go. And the main attraction for today, y'all probably could have already guessed. We've got the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of Ruthless Vows, which as much as I want to crack this one open like right now and read it along with everybody else, I am going to read Kingdom of Ash today. If you didn't get the Barnes & Noble exclusive and you're wondering what makes it different, it's got a black cover instead of a white cover. There is a typewriter on the normal edition, but on this one we have got a quote that says, you may not be a goddess, nor am I a god. Despite our mundane lives, perhaps we make our own magic with words, which such a pretty quote. And then we've got some end papers. So this kind of gold floral, and it is the same on the back. Ray, I cannot wait to read this, but guys, your girl is sleepy. I woke up so early today because I wanted to get to Barnes & Noble relatively early. So I think it is time for a nap and then time to dive into Kingdom of Ash. So I hope you enjoyed this little mini vlog and book haul, but I'm going to go. If you watched all the way to the end of today's video, why don't you leave me a Christmas tree? Merry Christmas. I'm still in the Christmas season since I feel like Christmas hasn't happened yet. And I don't know if you enjoyed this video and want more bookish content from me, especially as we go into the new year, please make sure that you subscribe, like this video because it really does help support my channel and leave me a comment down below. Did you go to the Barnes and Noble sale today? And if so, please tell me what you got because I love book hauls. Okay. Bye. See you guys in the next one.